Yo, what is up guys, welcome back to today. In today's video we'll be doing a setup tour, but not like a usual, just like going through my setup. We'll be talking about what I used to play on and going through um, each and every single like change I've made. And we'll be talking about like going through like what I played on whenever I was on PlayStation to what I played on whenever I first got my first PC. Then to what I basically just kind of like a big ol' evolution of what I've basically started from my gaming setups. Um, hopefully you guys like it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video. Let's get right into it. All right, so starting with what I used to play on this. So this really isn't much. This was what I used to play on this, like this TV and this, all this stuff was like over on my like where my old setup was, which is like whenever I had my PlayStation, all that apparently I had a win that day. So I took picture of it who didn't take pictures. But as you can see, guys, like I used to play on a TV. Um, so I started off not in the greatest spot. Like I played on PlayStation. I started where you guys probably were playing on with your PlayStations and Xbox with a TV. But honestly, that's all you really need. PlayStation and TV and a place to sit. Then moving on next was when I first got my PC. I don't know if you guys can see this. I might have to zoom in a little bit. This is just literally the closest thing I could find to having this because I didn't have like a full on setup like thing. But this right here, like that's a cardboard box. Like I told you guys before, I used to play on a cardboard box. Like I had my, I didn't have a desk or anything. So I had to use like a footstool, you know, like a footstool kind of thing, like a foot or like a coffee table is what they're called now, a coffee table. So I had to put a cardboard box on top of that. And that is where I put my mouse and keyboard and all that stuff. Um, this is just like, this is a better picture of my old setup with the PlayStation before I got my PCs and all that. So it kind of, yeah, you can just tell, like I just played on, like that's my PlayStation right here. Um, and that's like just the, the entertainment center with the TV that I used to play on and all that. Um, this is a better picture right here. Better picture right here. You can see that's a cardboard box. So whenever I tell you guys I used to play on a cardboard box, like I am not kidding. I straight up played on a cardboard box. So yeah, like it was a coffee table with a cardboard box. That's my old mouse uh, or my old keyboard. That is a red dragon keyboard. I think I got it in a combo with a keyboard and a mouse for like 15 bucks so i was like like i said i used to be like a broke eighth grader um this is whenever i first started getting into gaming and i didn't like i bought that because i used to have another like a what it, what's it called the laptop that i played minecraft on and that's what i kind of bought that for but then i kind of was like oh i have a pc now i can put it you plug that in and yeah i mean that is what i used to play on it was it was something it was something we all started somewhere though Okay, let's zoom this in. Like I like I said, I had still have the LEDs um, and all that, but that is where I used to play on the, my stuff. Like I, there's the Hyper Xbox. There's my LED lights. That little right here, you can see this little table right here. This little coffee table right here with that keyboard on. That's my old keyboard. That's the keyboard from the previous picture. Like that, that right there is. I put a cardboard box on that, on this t little table, and that is what I used to play on. This, like I said, that's my old scuff controller before I got this one, before I got this one. So that was my first one, um, and it was still really good. I still have the same mouse. I still use that mouse, like not to this day, but I still have that mouse and I use it from time to time. And then I have that Red Dragon keyboard that's like super clicky. It's like, you know, then that one monitor, one monitor and the HyperX headset. I didn't have an external mic at that time either. So I used my headset mic. Um, so yeah, it was something. Like I said, we all start somewhere. Next, um, let me zoom out. Next setup, we had, I got two monitors. Like I said, that's where I kept my PC. We had two monitors and I got my blue snowball. I was playing uh, Modern Warfare 2. Um, but yeah, right here. So you got the PC right here. You have the HyperX headset. I took off the headpiece because I, like I had the blue snowball. The blue snowball, I still have it to this day. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I might give it away when we hit like, more and more followers or something like that you know might do a little giveaway that'd be kind of cool um but yeah like i said i have one monitor and then i was like then i bought this 144 hertz monitor because i had this pc this is my old pc i used to hit like 160 frames or whatever like i was able to do pretty good amount of frames on it like it was pretty good and plus four it was for my uh i played a lot of fortnite and call of duty 
so I used it for Call of Duty. That's the same monitor I still have. That is the same exact, um, what's it called? Monitor that I still use today. I don't even know what that background was. Can I see a date on that actually? So that was 2020. That was five, 16, I don't know, 16th, I think. But yeah, that was still 2020. Like I said, this is all came in 2020, man. Like that PC, I don't have that anymore. I actually ended up fixing it up and giving it to my brother. So I didn't even have that PC a full year yet. Like that's the thing. I kind of like, yeah. And then I had the Logitech mouse pad. I have a completely different one now. That mouse pad my brother uses pretty much all the stuff I don't use. It, my brother ends up actually having like he has his own like streaming setup that he could stream on in that like my old camera my old everything like I have that I don't use anymore I pretty much put it on his setup so I've built him kind of like a streaming setup but he doesn't stream because he doesn't want to I guess but yeah then you can see I moved on I have my the now scuff controller right there in the picture um but yeah man like my setup like I just I went up through monitors like quickly next thing yeah I changed it up I put I had the, the mount in this picture so I had my mount and I got a ring light so that ring light was my old ring light um, this is the same one yeah there it is okay so this is a better picture so I had the ring light right here I still used to use that I used to use it uh, but it's on my brother's setup now and yeah that's my PC I built myself a desk for like $80 I literally went to like I don't know, was it Menards or something or some like place or Ace Hardware or something like that. I don't know where I went exactly, but then I got like big pieces of wood and I just like kind of, you know, built my desk pretty much. Um, then I still use that same mic arm too. It's kind of cool. Actually, I have the same mic arm. I don't use that pop filter anymore. That's an older one. I have it over in my stuff, but I, that is the blue snowball and man, like my setup was something this is like progressing through the months pretty much um yeah here it is i still have those rubik's cubes by the way right there i had some speakers at one point but now since i have like a you know tv up there i don't need speakers because if i want to play something out loud i could just play it through my tv um but yeah this is a little better picture that's kind of what it looked like man it was it was pretty clean but the don't worry about the cable management i everyone was like the cable management cable management like i said i my cable management is dookie i have bad cable management even with my setup now there's just cords all over the place i just i'm not good at cable management you know um yeah here's with the stuff off and all that by the way notice the water jug i still use it to this day the same water jug same water jug you always got to stay hydrated when you're playing video games, you know, but like look at this cable management's dookie Like you can just see it in the back all that cables like ugh. it's how ugly to look at but you know I I'm just not good at cable managing, but it's okay. I had both those controllers. I hooked that one up I don't know why um, I think that one was started to break at that point because I do remember I did this this one did break Well, it didn't really break what happened with it. It was the the what's it called the the paddles on the back just stopped responding like they weren't clicky anymore it's like ooh. so yeah then moving on i got the green screen the green screen days if you were here prior to the green screen days before i had that man you're an og in this channel um so yeah then we got the green screen notice yeah that is actually where my old setup was the cables i don't even know what everything's over there the cables like a wii i have a wii over there but then notice this extra tv in my brother's setup over there I don't know why we have an extra stuff, but yeah, then I got a better chair. That chair was literally just like a hand, like a hand-me-down of my, uh, my godmother. I'm like, yo, you got an extra chair or something? She's like, yeah, I gotcha. And then I'm like, all right, bet, sweet. But yeah, you can actually see a little bit of my cable management too. It's not the greatest, <laughs> but we don't talk about it. We don't talk about that. Um, this setup, this is actually when I got my ducky. So that would have been past my birthday. So that would have been a little bit after March, actually. So yeah, man, like my setup has just gradually, gradually changed and changed. And so, yeah, I'm happy with working, working helped out a lot. If I didn't have work, if I didn't work at all, like I would have nothing, I would have nothing. I wouldn't today without work. This just proves in a few months work, hard work does pay off. Like I don't even know. I think this is a panoramic photo. Cause that looks curved or something. I don't know, but yeah, that's just different angles from the setup then i got the monitor above me aka a tv i had a 50 inch tv that my brother wasn't really using that much 
So I'm like, yo, can I, can we mount this on the wall? I was thinking of it. I'm like, what if we mounted this on the wall? Cause you know, we could still watch TV from it. You know, if we wanted to watch a sports game or something, I could either pull it up on my computer or I can, we can, you know, put it on the TV and we can like sit back with our chairs and stuff like behind We have a couch and all that. Like you saw in the previous picture, we have couch and all that. Um, yeah, a whole couch that we could literally just chill and watch. I was currently watching Nick Merck's. Um, he's an awesome streamer, not gonna lie. So then I got three monitors. What I don't I generally like is how much, how big of a gap there is between these two monitors. But you know, I wanted it, I primarily put it there. So if we had like friends over or anything, we could just like all sit back and relax and watch TV. And you don't wanna like look at a TV if you're looking straight. You're like, you know, you kinda like, you wanna get a little elevated. But yeah, I still have the HyperX headset. Same mic arm. This is actually, I had this mic at this point, actually. But yeah, um, then moving on to what I currently am using. This is just an overview. I think I do have another one. Yeah, this is an overview of what I have now. Um, we'll get more into detail in a little bit, but this is what I have now. I added the fourth monitor. So that's currently what my setup is looking like right now at this very moment. Um, this was actually taken like a couple days ago. So that is currently what I'm actually using right now. And honestly, it's, it's a dope setup like uh i mean i can't really i got i'm gonna go more into depth in it i'm gonna go around my setup and just talk about every little thing that i have and all that but honestly like this is the overview of what it looks like like this whole thing is what i'm using got the g fuel over here you got you know the scuff controller the mouse the keyboard you got four monitors and when it comes to editing like videos and stuff four monitors is very helpful like I have like with when I'm editing stuff like this is where my like timeline and stuff is where I can put things into it and cut that stuff all the videos and then this is like the viewer what I view my videos with up here is uh, up here on this one this monitor I kind of use for like like sound effects and stuff and all that like where I put like my sound effects in my folders and I, I like honestly just four monitors helps a lot when I'm editing videos. I honestly don't even need this, but I am fortunate enough to be able to work and be able to pay for all this stuff. And it is honestly insane. So now we're going to move on to the last portion of the video, which is going to be me going into detail about everything in my setup. So, yo, know, let's get right into it. Welcome back. Like I said, we're going to go into more detail. This is the last part of the video. We're going to be going into detail into like everything that's in my setup. So this is just like an overview, kind of like what it looks like. Here's the video or uh, here's the from the whole room. Um, we go all the way around. I know this is going to trigger people a lot, but I'm already going to mention it. These foam panels, they're off centered, but me and my brother also did them like fairly quickly. So, um, they do the job, so that's what we're talking about first. The foam panels, they were like $20, $24, $24 for like 12 panels. Um, so I'm only using two, four, eight. I'm only using eight of them. My brother has the other four and he's probably gonna put those into his setup. I kind of was generous with him. I was like, hey, I'll let you use those. But yeah, um, that's first. Next, we have the lights. The two lights, I used to have one singular ring light that I used to use. I got rid of that because I wanted to be able to light up my face because you know, you don't want to have a stream with someone who has just a very dark face looking thing. Like, you know, so I got two new lights. Those were like $40 each or $40, not each, $40 total um, on, uh, so yeah, they are new, the newer, I think that's what they call it, like newer, newer. But yeah, they actually are kind of cool because you can take out the like panel. And over here, I have different like colors. You can change out the colors, it's kind of cool actually. Um, but yeah, 
So the monitor, this is like kind of where I sit. I'd be right here. The monitor is pretty cool. Got the TV mounted on the wall. I have the 60 hertz monitor. I don't even know this is just an HP monitor my mom gave me. She's like, here, you want to buy this for 80 bucks? I'm like, sure, why not? I'm like, all right, bet. Then this is my gaming monitor. The gaming monitor I use is an HP Omen 144 hertz monitor. It's honestly insane. And it's like, I, I mean, I can't really say much else. It's actually really cool. It's a great monitor. I definitely recommend getting a 144 hertz if you're not, if you haven't already, but I will admit they do get expensive. Then we have just another 60 hertz monitor. It's, it's, I don't even know. It's it. I don't even know. I'm be honest. I don't know what kind of monitor it is or like what brand, but it, I mean, it's just some 60 hertz monitor. Moving on, we have the G Fuel. So we have three different flavors up here. We have the Hype Sauce. Then we have the Phase X flavor, pretty good and pretty good, not gonna lie. And then the Phase Inspired Battle Juice flavor. Those are all really good flavors. Pineapple, I don't even know, like a cherry, like a white cherry kind of thing, your Glacier Freeze, Gatorade taste kind of thing. Like that's kind of what it tastes like. And then the Hype Sauce, which is raspberry lemonade, it's really good. Then we have the um, Blender bottle, AKA just the water bottle I use to drink water. Um, also, like I said before earlier in the video, I still have that same jug of water. Gallon of water, you gotta stay hydrated, not gonna lie. Then we have the G Fuel cup, the Phase Miami Phase G Fuel cup. I love it. I bought it when I first got my first G Fuel. So yeah, moving on. Then we have the keyboard. I currently use a Ducky One Too Many keyboard very good not so great for editing i'm not gonna lie um because it don't ha doesn't have all the keys on it just a 60 percent keyboard so when it comes to editing videos and stuff like my shortcuts they come to they, it's kind of hard to hit sometimes then we have the headset i currently use the hyper x headset honestly really good i would 100 percent recommend it hyper x cloud alpha headset very durable i've dropped it a few times i don't slam stuff because i'm not like a rager I don't rage whenever I die in a game or whatever. But yeah, this is honestly a great uh, headset. It's got nice, it's foam on top, so you already know it's pretty dope. Then we have the foam on the ears. It's really just comfortable, honestly. Then we have the mouse. Um, I currently use, when I'm like playing a video game, the wired mouse is a little quicker and faster, I have noticed. And this is just the Red Dragon, same uh, mouse I've been using for years and stuff. So honestly, I mean, it's a cheap mouse, but it does the job. Then this is the mouse, like if I'm editing a video or just like messing around on my computer, this is the mouse I use because it is a little bigger than this mouse. This mouse is smaller. If you look right there, it's a little bigger and it fits my hand better. So this is an HP Omen mouse. So what is cool about this is my PC, my monitor and my mouse all can be colorized the same way because they all go through Omen, which is an HP brand which I don't have it lit up yet or anything, but yeah, Omen, it's a really nice mouse. Um, but yeah, the, then we have the Stream Deck. You already know, got the phase. So the Stream Deck is amazing, I love it. So like if I press this key, wait, hold up. If I press this key, like there's just different things, like you know, folders, like if I go into OBS, I can mute my audio, unmute it. Uh, that's the microphone, there's the background audio. Um, then I have my scenes, I have my game scene. I have whenever I'm like hiding my screen, I hide, you press this one. And then when I use to end the stream, that's what I end it with. And that is to start and stop the stream. This is literally just to open up OBS, which is what I use when I stream. So like if I press this button, it opens up a new tab. So like if I press it again, it just opens up new and new tabs. It's kind of lit. I love this stream deck. I It's the best thing ever. You can do so many things on it, like sound effects. I have just, this is the folder. Like you press the sound effects, it's a folder. And it just opens up to all the, the sound effects I have. I'm still gonna add more to them. But yeah, it's honestly really lit. I love it. Um, this, this button, you press it. And it's just kind of a little thing I added to it. Kind of looks cool. Um, but yeah, those are all the things that I have on it. It's really dope. The only problem is it's like $160, so yeah. Next, we have the mixer. My mixer. It is a Zine, well, I don't even know what it's called, to be honest. It's a Zine, Z, wait, that's what it's called. Zenex 802. 
It's a really great audio. What it, it pretty much allows me to do is not sound like I have like a $10 headset. Like I can adjust the EQs and stuff. So like if I wanted to make the, like the higher pitches in my voice, I can make that louder or quieter. I can make the bass sound quiet or low or whatever. You know, then this is just like the audio buttons. Like if I wanted to turn up my, vol my volume in my microphone, I can. Um, then what we're gonna talk about is the PC. The PC I currently use is an HP Omen Obelisk. The specs of it are an i9-9900K. It has a 2080 Super graphics card. It has 32 gigs of RAM and then a terabyte of SSD storage. And it also is RGB, so I can customize the colors on the inside. Probably gonna change it to all to like that blue galaxy kind of look that I have going on. I kind of like that color. Um, so yeah, it's honestly really lit. This is the broken controller. If you're ever in my stream and you redeem broken controller, this is the controller I use. Completely busted. It's not like broke, but it just has insane stick drift and it's not fun to play on. Then this is currently the controller I use. It's the Scuf 4PS Pro. I have like a Galaxy look on it. It's kind of wearing out a little bit, but I also use it every day. It's got two paddles on the back and it has the grip on it. It's actually a really good, um, really good controller. And I would highly recommend if you want to get into um, controllers with paddles and stuff, I'd highly recommend Scuff. I've had no problems with them over the two years I've used them. Um, and it's just insane. It's a great, great brand. Now, moving on, we have the mic arm. The mic arm pretty much just holds up the microphone. It just, I can adjust it up, down, lower, right. It's really cool. Uh, it was like 20 bucks. Um, I kind of forgot about the prices. <laughs> some of these but i will be putting the prices like somewhere on the screen it'll probably be like yellow or something so yeah um but yeah i have the mic arm with the xlr cable wrapped around and this is my currently what i use it's the audio technica at 2020 microphone very great microphone it's an xlr mic so what that means is you have to have a mixer if you get it and it's not just like plug it into your usb and it works no it's got you gotta get a mixer and pretty much it just, it's so good. I love it. It sounds amazing whenever I'm in a mic, when I'm in a game of Fortnite. And it means it just, it's something else, man. Like I'm telling you guys, it's so good, but it's like a hundred dollars. So yeah, it's a good microphone, but kind of expensive. Next we have the green screen. So the green screen is literally just like a green sheet I got off of Amazon for like 20 bucks. And what I actually do to hold it up is I actually put a nail in my ceiling so I can just hold it up. And what actually I did is with this side, I just wrapped it around. So that's how I hold up my green screen. I don't have anything else. It's kind of just laying on the back. So, um, but yeah, that is the green screen. It was, it's really good actually. It looks really good. I thought that you would be able to see like that stuff in it and you can a little bit but not very noticeable like the lights kind of go through it and then next we have the chair i actually use a respawn chair i actually got it this past christmas it was kind of lit wasn't expecting it my mom just like hey open that box over there and i'm like okay i open it and it's a chair and i'm like no way it was actually lit but this chair is amazing not gonna lie give me one second this chair is amazing, not only because it like reclines and stuff, and it's got a nice headrest and a, like a backrest, but it has like, like it has a, like a, what's it called? Footrest. So if I'm sitting, I can like put my legs out and relax. It's kind of actually really lit, not gonna lie. It's pretty sick. So like what I sometimes do, if I'm like at home or whatever, what I would do is I would recline the chair all the way back put Netflix or Hulu or something or YouTube. I put that on the big old uh, TV, and lean, lay back and relax and I'd watch some YouTube. And it's actually really cool. It's a very comfortable chair. Honestly, my old chair is right here. This old thing is tearing apart. It's broken and this part cuts me, this little, little uh, hole in it. There's a nail down there and it cuts me. That's why I didn't like it. But this new respawn chair is so comfortable. Like I can play video games, sit in this chair for hours upon hours and I wouldn't like, you know, get, like it wouldn't hurt or any of that. And it's actually a really great high quality chair. 
Next we have this little speaker. Um, this is literally just like a $20 speaker. I got it a while ago. I just kind of put it in my setup because it kind of fits low key. It kind of fits right there. And if I want to play something for my phone, that's loud or whatever, I can make it louder. If I wanted to play some music or whatnot, I can make it as loud as I wanted to. Overall, it's just a really good, um, nice speaker. Next we have the mouse pad. So my mouse pad that I currently use is actually a Vixing uh, mouse pad. It's kind of like a desk pad because it like goes across the most majority of my desk. My desk is six foot long, six feet wide or long. So I just wanted to have enough so I can have three monitors and a PC on it. So yeah, um, yeah, this is a, honestly a really good mouse pad. It covers the whole, so I can put my keyboard and mouse on it and all that. Um, then we just have like this, I don't even know, it's just an Apple Watch. I don't know why did I say I don't know what it was. It's an Apple Watch, but yeah, I don't use it because like I just don't go outside that much because I'm either working and I don't want to get all dirty when I'm working or I'm down here in the basement. So yeah, next we have just the desk. The desk, like I said before, was like $80. All I did was go to Menards and got some big old things of wood kind of just built it in a day and I love it holds up very great very well um yeah alrighty guys that concludes the video hopefully you guys liked it make sure to like comment subscribe and let me know what you thought what you thought about my setup tour down below um sorry that it took so long to get this video out I had so many complications creating called in the work not being able to finish it videos getting lost so I'm happy that I finally got it up hopefully you guys liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one peace